We are about to embark upon a series of strange and exciting, dangerous adventures. Adventures that will lead us to all parts of the world. Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Grim Spotlight Zodiac. This is a 2022 one-shot from Xenoscope, written by Joe Brusha, art by Daniel Main, colors by Juan Manuel Rodriguez, letters by Taylor Esposito of Ghost Glyph Studios, edited by David Wall. I have cover A by Igor Vitorino and Ivan Nunez. I really like the cover, it's pretty cool. It's just a pin-up, but it's still fun. So we get a flashback from 1998 in Ireland, where Logan is... A member of the IRA as a youth soldier before he became Zodiac, obviously. And he meets this woman at a bar who has some sort of hypnotic powers. It says her name is Regan, but there's a lot more to her than that. Meanwhile, Peyton Parks, the Black Knight, has come to Philadelphia to extradite her new client, who happens to be Scorpio, who's a supervillain. His partner Hydra got away, and she has mesmerized Zodiac into helping her. Now, they claim that Scorpio is Zodiac's brother, but I don't know if if that's a forced memory or real. They imply that it's real, but seems a little convenient. Black Knight shows up to stop him, and she gets into it with Zodiac. She doesn't realize he's being mind-controlled, but the bad guys get away with Zodiac, and they manage to steal a gem that's going to make Scorpio super-powered. Now, Zodiac is fortunate enough to realize that Hydra can't mind-control him and someone else at the same time, and she has plans for Scorpio as well, including a giant monster. Overall, Overall, this was a pretty good one shot it was a bit compressed because it has to be it's a one shot so you have to put a lot of story into 32 pages in this case and doing a team up as well as a hypnosis story and a heist at the same time that's a lot to put into one issue but it has classic comic book elements and it was pretty fun I have to say that I liked the issue where he fought death force a little better but this was still pretty fun and the black knight was a fun addition as well so I will recommend it if you can find it for a reasonable price and what have problems paying the price of a new issue for it because at least this is pretty well written and the art's solid it's not the greatest it's not the worst but it is solid art because of that i'm more than content with dropping three or four bucks on an issue like this as opposed to something where nothing's gonna happen and people are gonna stand around talking all the time like you too often get from most companies so that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.